And we're just gonna jump right this the second match right here, the rematch I had with Snappy. This guy, like I said, for the first match was really awesome, and it just come down to me making a couple misplays and him getting a couple hacks on me, but it was a good game. So yeah, I start off with Gyarados, he starts with Rotom, so my Gyarados pretty much wrecks his Rotom because I got the Mode Breaker, which gets rid of his ability to levitate. And I'm going to hit this Rotom up with an Earthquake, and that Rotom is going to go down. Kill Rills were coming through for the first kill of the game. So he sends out his Mawau, not Erika, again, because I always like to point that out, don't I? And I was like, he's going to go for the player off guaranteed, and I'm at minus one, and I don't want to die. So I throw out my, um... I threw my parent out because I knew his safest bet was to go for play rough because he knows none of my Pokemon really want to get hit with a huge power play rough. And I'm sorry I did I had the sack Pangaro. I am sorry, Pangaro. You will get your day. I am sorry. Cause no, I gotta free switch into anything that can deal with this. And my my biggest thing that could deal with this was Infernape. So he switches out into his um and his Dermanitan because he knows that if I go for Flare Blitz, it's gonna do, it's gonna kill it. But I didn't go for Flare Blitz. I went for the, I went for the Fake Out because I know he was gonna switch in. So now he's gonna go for Earthquake. He's gonna bring my um, Inferno to its Sash, and now this it crit, you know, it didn't matter. And um, I'm gonna hit this Dermanitan up with a close combat, hopefully, and this time it's going to kill. <laughs> Oh my god, like, if, 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 hey, Stabby, if you're watching this, could you tell me, um, wh what do you run your Dermantan with? Uh, how much defense EVs, or if you put any in there? Maybe, maybe something's going on. <laughs> I would like to know that, seriously. And this when he went for Shadow Sink, I could have switched out, but I realized he had way too many Pokemon priorities, so I, it was the best bet for me just to have my thing die. So I throw out the King, and I'm going to... He has to withdraw because he, he has nothing on the team that to eat anything. He switched out to his Gengar. I go for the Flamethrower, and that's going to do a massive amount of damage. Yeah, almost, almost, almost knocking it out. I switch into my Gyarados again, predicting, um, I don't know, I guess a folk, I don't know. I don't know what he was going for. But he goes for a Destiny Bond, predicting me to continue to kill it. So, I actually made a nice prediction, and I switched right back out. I actually predicted him to do another Destiny Bond, and I threw my Venomoth. So, he goes for the Focus Blast, and not the Destiny Bond, and, um, <laughs> and that's, that's not going to do anything, because I'm poisoned. I resist that. I, I can't wait to name, I gotta remember to name my, my Venomoth. This is going to be called Killer Moth. And um, he's gonna switch right out, and he's got the fun guy. And I actually predicted that. Actually, no, I, yeah, I did predict that. I went for a quiver dance because there's nothing he could have done to me, unless it had psychic. Which, that would have been awful. And um, so he clearly switched out because he had nothing to hit me with. He throws his broom, and I went for the bug buzz this time because I know this thing is sashed. I, I mean, I know it's generally sashed. I just wasn't thinking at that time. So he goes for Spore, and this is a better this is a better sack than um, my Needle King. Because I actually need my Needle King for the rest of this battle, as you will see later. So my Venomoth is asleep. Um, I don't really care so much about it. So he's gonna go for Rock Slide, and that is going to that's gonna hit Venomoth really hard. It's a two-hit KO though. So this is max HP, and I get a little more luck switch, but it doesn't matter. I'm still asleep. So I am just going to get Rock Slide again, and that's just going to take me out. Venomoth, you still did, you still did good. You still did good. Cause now, uh, now that that's gone, I can I can throw up my Needle King, and he has he has nothing that he wants to switch in to take a Flamethrower. So I just go for Flamethrower anyway. I do outspeed Breloom. My Breloom, my me, my Needle King is 137. And Breloom's top is 134, I believe. So he's just five, five short. And I'm going to switch out because I predicted him to go for Destiny Bond, and I did not want my um, 
I did not want it dying, so he goes for the sludge bomb. And guess what happens? Just guess, guess, guess. Can you guess? Can you guess? I didn't get poisoned this time! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I did not get poisoned. I I actually did get poisoned. That was awesome. She goes for another sludge bomb. And I'm gonna take that pretty well. But then I get poisoned! <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Why? Why? I go for a worship. This is almost exactly like last time, except um I have three to his um to his what? Two or two or one I believe. No, I believe it's my um my two to his one. Oh no, my my three to his um two. So I'm going to protect um it, it failed because he didn't attack me. Cause like he he knew my strategy, I knew his strategy. I I do outspeed him. I do outspeed the Mawal though. I know that for because I know Mawal isn't the fastest Pokemon. Neither Vaporeon, but Vaporeon does outspeed. And I go for the Scald and I get a decent amount of damage. I was hoping for that burn, but no burn. So my Vaporeon is gonna die to this huge power play rough and a crit. So ah. But now I throw up my um my Gyarados because he pretty much has nothing to hit me with and from this range Earthquake does kill. I I did cop for that and yeah that my while was going straight down. <clears throat> so it was a good predict it was a good nice per good sack for me to sack Pan Pan um, Garo to stab this. So he sends out his his dual blade, the stabby stabby. Actually, even like dual blade sounds really awesome. I actually might even try that set. So I throw out the king, he goes for the sacred sword. And because I'm poisoned, I do resist that. Now I have a, I basically at this at this point I do win because he has, he has um needle no he has Gengar and then he has this. So well we're tied on three three. So okay, that I guess that was a mistake on my part. But that dual blade is gonna go down to a flame star, and now he only has one left. He has his um his Gengar. He goes for the Shadow Ball. And it does not kill. I live at 2 HP. Survival. This is the king. The king's in the house. And I finish him off on another flamethrower. So this is again a really good game. I this guy is really nice. And I hope I buy this guy again. So I'll guess I'll catch you guys later. Peace.